microphone, microphone check. My mouse is too loud. I need something. Should have got a mouse pad, but I didn't. Got around here. Hmm. Be a book or something somewhere. this Maybe a little bit quieter that will work for now and is anything else even working I have no idea microphone check it's been so long since I've tried to stream I don't remember anything last night I had a weird dream Oh, I'm forgetting some. Plugged in, that's plugged in. Really care? I do. I do. One more adjustment to the room. And back over to the microphone. Headphones? Nope. Headphones? There we go. Now I can hear the music. Do, 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 do. Okay. Click here. Move this over here. And in theory, everything just works right. Everything just works. Mm. Flash isn't going to crash on me. Ripley? Are you there? Well, if everything's just going to work fine, then just press the intro button. If everything's, I mean, if we're not worried about anything, you seem to be on, ball, on the ball with all of the things, so, so just go for it. Just go for it. I say let's go. Just, yeah, just let's go. I think we should let's go. What about my input? No, I'm not talking. What about my input? What if my mouth moved while I talked? Anyway, I also think the intro should be getting... It should be, 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 be beginning now. Start it now. Yeah, you boob. All right, uh, feels like it's been about a thousand years since I turned on any of this stuff, and I think it's all connected correctly. Uh, I definitely moved the camera a little bit. There we go. I was adjusting things, but we're basically, everything's basically the way it should be, right? If I look at my water bottle, am I looking at you? What do you mean if you're looking at, if you're looking at me, you're looking at me. If you want to look at me, you just look at me. Why, why does that have to be so complicated? What about you acting like the uh, third tennis ball on a stick over here? I'm not a tennis ball on a stick. I'm like a little guy. I got a little bug. I got a little hat. You're, you're the bug. That's what I'm saying. You're the bug. That means like you're an idiot jerk, I think, in British terms. But I could be completely wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Um, I feel like the lighting is definitely brighter than I do to that. Let's play adjust the stream, but don't cross the stream. Video capture device. That's all normal. Uh, left click on it. Let's go to the filters. Uh, the video filters. 
Um, let's see if I've left some video filters on when I meant to delete them. All right, that seems to be right. We turn the contrast up a little bit. Mm. Looks a little bit better, I guess. I'm going to go to 0.14. Yeah, there we go. Not that it's a huge difference, but definitely a difference that affects uh, my head when I try to do things. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the screen. Um, oh, why don't you just ask me? Just ask me, and I can look at the screen, and I can tell you the things that are on the screen instead of you aimlessly looking off to the side like a crazy person. Just just ask me what's up. Because you don't know anything. You don't know anything. Uh, just, just waiting for some sort of alert to say, hey, by the way, uh, you don't know what you're doing, and everything is always wrong. Um, but so far, I haven't gotten one of those. Um... Okay, you're still moving. That's fine. Um, yeah, I guess everything's the way it should be. And now I'm just procrastinating because I don't know. I don't know what to draw. I feel like I should finish this comic strip, which requires another page. And I believe I opened up my notes so that I can see what else I need to write in this. Um, all right, so that's panel one, panel two, um, and that's me in panel three, so far so good, my logo's on a big tirade, and then I say a thing, so that's that page, so this page is the next page, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's turn this one into a two-pager. With, you know, once again, without telling you what it's about. Because I enjoy the surprise of things. Um... <laughs> Actually... As I sit here judging what I've written uh, against what I've drawn. Hmm. I think I'm basically going to uh, copy the format to the next page. And here's the artwork. Guess we're just going to autosave forever. There we go. And delete the stuff, and then we'll start drawing, and then we'll start drawing. Don't know who's lurking in the in the chat, who's lurking in the in the lurking area, but I see you. I know there's somebody there. I know I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> Oh, of course you're not talking to yourself. I'm, I'm right here. So if you start talking and there's nobody to talk to, I mean, I'm right here. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm a two, two pointy little ears that you can bend. And, you know, say, you know, you got some stories you want to tell? Just tell me those stories. I mean, technically you're here for all the stories. So, you know, that's kind of weird. Uh, he says, well, he tries to move the windows so he can see what he is doing. Uh... I scale this down. Ooh. And should be able to see all of my text. There we go. So I stay in frame. And back to the drawing board. Um, 
But I think I'm messing up. And I will have to edit the text and whatnot later. But... Everything we're doing, we're just making up as we go along anyway. So it's fine. So it's fine. The screen? Yes. And then we fix the typo before we forget and eventually just use it as a real piece of text. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So, oops. Now, Milo needs to be angry. How big is our brush? Let's go down to a two for some rough sketching. A little sphere. Oblong, if you will. Represent where Milo's head will be. Bubble over on this side. That song was almost sounding a bit like the beginning of Jeremy. Let's push Milo's ears back a little. I never do that. I never do that. I really don't do much <laughs> with this Milo character. Usually if I make him a little more rounder and cartoonier, if you will... Um, it's easier to do stuff with, as pose wise, because he's just this weird box shape. Very hard sometimes to do anything with him. Erase. too low. All right. This eye is too far to the left. I'm dearly bereft. Don't lift more than you can successfully heft. That word doesn't fit there. Uh, angry Milo face. He's always pointing. I feel like he needs to point in this one, but it's just a very... A very Ren Hoek type of point that would make sense. But I think... I'm gonna go with a fist. I think of Milo is kind of like, I'm ready to fight at this point over the thing that you just said. What, what did you just say, though? What did you just say? There's no bubbles yet. How do I know how angry I should or should be at this particular uh, panel of uh, comic stripping if I don't know how... What what made me so angry? Should I punch you right now? Maybe I should just punch you right now. No. No. This is another weird imaginary uh, 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 world where, you know, within the comic, you're aware it's a comic, and then outside of this, you're another level... Of uh, it's too complicated. It's too complicated to explain. But basically, uh, whatever you're angry about in the comic strip is usually wildly unwarranted and uh, realistically should just be you getting angry at yourself. That's that's what I know. What? Why would I get angry at myself? I'm, I'm the best. 
I'm the alpha and the omega, and you know I've got adorable hat. How many times do I have to uh, uh, mention that? There's no reason. There's just there a reason for me uh, to be the bad guy. Am I the Billy Eilish over here? No, I'm not the Billy Eilish. I don't have a whole thog about being the bad guy, but I enjoy that thog. Uh, you know, from the perspective that is, oh, is that what it's like to be the bad guy? Because I'm definitely, I'm definitely the good guy. That's that's what I know. Yeah, no. Uh, I feel like most of that song is almost about you. It's like things that you genuinely like say all day long, and you know, hers is like, hey, here's some crazy stuff, and it's just just in song form. She's not really the bad guy, but you, you're kind of the bad guy. That's that's kind of what I know. That's kind of what I know. You dundering boobs! I'm right here! I'm being the bad guy! Give me a chance! I will, I'll I'll step up to the plate, and I will take that plate, and I will smash it over your heads! Yeah, because that's what the mad guy would do! Make your mother mad tight! Make your father uh, sad right! I don't remember the words, but you know what I'm talking about! Everybody, everybody knows you're talking about Skeletor. Oh, man. Do you think Mr. Dressup ever just kind of sat around uh, with those puppets that, you know, half of them, like, like Finnegan didn't even talk anyway. It was just this silent whisper into his ear. Do you think he ever was just like, hey, I'm just going to sit around and I'm going to react to empty puppets in my home? I realize he didn't actually live in the Mr. Dressup house. That was a set. But still, but still, I mean, he definitely still had uh, puppets floating around his house, right? I mean, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? That's, I don't know. And only Canadian people get that. Uh, Rena the Mayor has just followed. I meant to add the sound effects back in there. Uh, but because I also use my stream to set up stuff for other people's streams for work, um, I often uh, accidentally uh, replace my alerts with other people's alerts and then have to remember to change them back. But I've left the sound out. Reign of the mayor. The mayor is in the house. You're doing a bunch of crazy stuff. I saw you, your Twitter floating by. You really are the mayor of, of Streaming Town. Um, I believe either you're part of or you just gave away a chair. I'm pretty sure Reign Re of the mayor just gave away a chair. All you had to do was follow her stream there. And then suddenly, miraculously, you're going to get a chair or you got a chair. Also, um, my chat isn't showing my chat. <laughs> so that's, that's interesting. What if I hit the refresh chat button? Is that doing anything? Refresh chat. Hello. Something is definitely up. Something is up and I don't know what. Oh, man. Um, but I'm streaming to somewhere, I think. I guess I could, I guess I could check. I guess I could check. Uh... <gasps> there it is. Um, that's weird. I guess re pressing the refresh chat button did work. Uh, so I'm not going to go clicking around on my phone. Um, yes, I gave away a chair. $250 worth of st streamer stocking stuffers. Uh, it wasn't just the mayor, but I was Santa mayor. Uh, it was so much fun. That's awesome. That sounds awesome. Um, last time I did a little giveaway contest when, when this was a, a, a little YouTube show. That I did a long, long time ago. Uh, where it was usually just me and Milo or me and some character just talking about stuff. Uh, I, uh, excuse me? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to chime in and say all of the times that uh, the character was not me. I was offended and I'm still offended. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you. I'm still coming for you and you will be destroyed. You will know uh, the revenge that I have in my heart daily and nightly. Uh, throwing it like harpoons. Uh, will I ever stop? Yo, uh, I don't know, but I do know, and I won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, just like the Beebs. He couldn't stop, right? That was his deal, that he couldn't stop? Uh, 
But yeah, uh, I did like a little fan art contest uh, on this little YouTube video show that I was doing. And not that many people watched it, but I think I was still getting, you know, maybe almost 100 views on some of the videos. And especially one where it's like, hey, we're having a contest. Uh, so, you know. Um... Basically, uh, just people that were in walking distance to where I lived at the time <laughs> entered. <laughs> uh, good times. Um, but uh, this one lady that I knew, uh, she was like, my daughter really wants to enter this contest. But it says, like, you know, for people over, I'm not sure if I put, like, 16 or 18 or something like that. Uh, mostly because the, the prizes, I was just like, all right, let me just round up a bunch of my graphic novels that I have. Um, I forget what else, but just basically a bunch of stuff that I had. Um, that was either still brand new or it's, it's just, you know, it's a graphic novel comic book. Like here's, you know, like literally like, uh, you know, a hundred or more dollars worth of comic books and, and some other nonsense. But I was like, it's just that I don't, I don't want to be responsible for giving, uh, some random, dark, another violent or whatever comic to somebody. I cannot for the life of me remember what books they were, but I'm sure it was still some stuff that was just like, some of these books have some swearing in them. Some of them just have some, some, you know, weird comic book violence or whatever that I'm like, I don't want to be the one to, um, I don't know, uh, expose your children to violent images. Yeah, that's a good term. Um, that's, that's your business, lady. Uh, and she's like, okay, no, it's, it's okay. And I'm like, all right, and if she doesn't win, like, keep in mind, it's like, other people are entering this contest, I'm basically just picking my favorite top three drawings of, of me and or Milo or whatever, and those people, I'll either put it in the mail, depending on where they are, or I'll drop it off because you all live down the street. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, just a fun little thing. Uh, and, and yeah, uh, a handful of people sent me some drawings. One, yeah, just one of them is still on my wall in my living room now. And, um, and I felt terrible because that kid that wanted to enter, a kid did win. Uh, so one of my other friend's kids also wanted to enter. Uh, hey, CTK! And, um... And she was, like... I don't even know. Like, 7 or 12 or something at the time. She's like, I want to enter this contest. Like, how do you even know this is a contest? Pretty sure none of you were watching my videos, but whatever. And I was like, alright, like, that's cool. It's like, uh, You know, odds are she's not going to win. She's not going to beat some of these other people who are artists. And I can't for the life of me remember what she drew... But it was just the best thing in the world. It was so goofy and weird and silly. And I was like, this is this is awesome. This is 100% the winning image of this contest. And it's like, oh, hey. Hey, kids, parents. Um, so the prizes are a bunch of books that you guys can read and have. Um, I don't know. I, maybe I'll pick up another gift card for something else or whatever. And she's like, oh, she doesn't really care. Like, she just wanted to participate. Like, yeah, awesome. Um... But meanwhile, that other kid that also wanted to participate uh, was apparently wildly and just uh, uh, un, mm, unconsolably, unconsolably, inconsolably, or both of those words, or neither of those words. Tune in next week to find out when we look in a dictionary of some kind. If we knew how to spell words, we would know uh, if one of them was actually a word or not. But we do not know. Nobody could possibly know. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, la ti da. I'm Ripley. I know everything because I have a little iPad. And I look things up and I research things all day. Oh, look at me. I'm smarter than average bears over here. Guys? We're not, we're not here to fight. Um... Yay! There's a few people uh, from the Streamlabs chat uh, that I'm just, I'm seeing some of their posts now where I'm like, what is going on? Why are you guys even showing up to try and get free artwork? Like, this is miles beyond what I can draw. Uh, 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 
Ooh, a name that I find super fun to say. But nobody's names stick in my head. Uh, um, I just keep thinking of... Rena's stuck in there now, so it's Renerva, Ramirva. Um, why can't I remember your name? Um, mm, me, me, Yzmira? Mira. Yzmira. Yeah, Yzmira. Um, it's just like, there's an M in there. It's a very M, M heavy name, but because I go, Yzmira. Uh, amazing stuff where I'm like, is this, is this AI art? What, what is happening over here? You guys already know how to draw. Ugh. But, um, deep down, everybody does. I think that's, that's the real annoyance with the, the, this AI war. Um, you know, not not the inevitable war that we will all have with AI yeah, uh, uh, to fight for our survival, but the, um, uh, what was my face supposed to look like? All right, I'm just incredulous. Um, yeah, the, uh, the AI art war that's, that's currently going on, uh, flowing across Twitter and, and whatnot all the time is, is insane to me in the way that, like, I never think, oh, like, you musicians over there, like, hoarding all of your music, like, we should all be able to do it just by telling a computer, make me a song that sounds like this person's song matched with this thing, and I'm pretty sure you can do that now, um, but I, I feel like there's still uh, more respect for musicians because it's like it takes so many like to be able to hear uh, notes and know where they are like in your mind. Like I need a visual representation of things to really understand if volume or uh, um, uh, pitch or whatever is going up and down. I need to see it on a timeline of some kind. Um, and I still don't really quite understand And again, as somebody who sings way too often, I should learn uh, what some of anything. But even, you know, trying to teach myself some, some like, piano lessons there. And uh, I think I'm, at some point, going through some, like, YouTube singing lessons. Uh, of just like, what are you guys talking about? You can, you, you can really hear the difference. And I know I can hear the difference when other people do it. But inside my own head, it's just like... This is bananas. What are we all? What are we all doing here? Uh, but anyway, uh, the AI art thing of calling people who make art paint pigs. I'm a paint pig over here, cause uh, <laughs> sarcasm button, sarcasm button. Never let your finger off the sarcasm button. Um, is uh, uh and again, and that actually no. You're the mayor of uh, helping me string things together uh, in my brain. Um, because uh, that's exactly a great analogy. Like, yes, I, I don't walk around going, Ugh, you good singers, you're hoarding all the good singing. You should create some way where I can take your voice and have it flow out of me and make it seem like I do it. And again, I'm, I'm about to drift into a TikTok thing where it's just like, we're already doing that. We're just all lip syncing things and people are lip sync famous. It was just like, everybody, you find another room besides your bathroom to film everything. But, um, real singers, good singers, great singers, uh, doesn't matter. Musicians of any and all kinds, they can do all the stuff, but nobody, nobody is stopping me from, uh, also just throwing on some background music that's just like here there's a bunch of people making uh, 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 copyright music and there's also a bunch of like clip art and copyright free art that people can use and people do use all the time real my real art friends in the art industry so like check out my new avatar like did you draw that no I went to avatarjazz.org and I picked some of the options and it made a thing that looked like me and, uh, and that's 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 fine that's all fine there's nothing wrong with that the only part that's wrong with that Space Goonie 42, hello! Uh, the thing that's wrong with the war against the paint pigs 
is I'm not stopping you from using anything you want to make art. Even if you make the AI art, that's fine. Don't sit there acting like, mm, I'm a great artist now, though. Like, you know that you're not, right? Like, you know, when I bring my car in to get fixed, I don't walk around going, I'm pretty much the greatest mechanic. My car's all fixed, is it not? Therefore, mm, you know, I paid for that to happen. So I'm basically the greatest. And again, you know, in a world of, of, of Trumpiness, you know, they've elevated a certain level of, oh, when you're the, the richest guy in town, you can just pay people to make you a genius. And now somebody is rich enough to make Twitter more annoying than it was. <sighs> but no musician has knocked on my door, has sent me any sort of cease and desist in, hey, hey, your rhymes are weak and pathetic and your voice is not uh, copacetic with all the things that we'd like to hear. It sounds super weird. Please take it down, dear. And instead they say, yeah, keep going. When somebody shows me a horrible drawing, I'm like, awesome, awesome. Keep going, do more, do it worse, do it better. It doesn't matter. The main reason that I stream making these dumb comic strips is because I need a project that doesn't weigh me down and make me feel like I'm doing it wrong. Yes, I could tell a robot to do this better. I mean, you can't because I need fingers in the stuff that I draw and then they don't. Um, what did I see today? Somebody posted a thing that was like, hey, uh, here's a quick cheat sheet on how to uh, discern whether or not something is AI art or, or something drawn by a human. And uh, it said, you know, like, count, check how many fingers there are, check how many sword hilts are coming out of the body of a dog, because it was like this 8-bit pixel, pixel art of this dog. And it was like, hey, this is like from my D&D &D character. It's so great to finally be able to make this with AI art, and I'm a genius or whatever. Or no, it didn't say it with AI art. It's just so, so great to just be able to do this. Um, Go do stuff. Get the stuff done. Floating in space. Getting stuff done. Stop by to say hi, but... This goonie must run. Willie's treasure... Will soon be mine. Just give me more of that goony time and a map. Um, see, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and yeah, it's just like one. You're specifically like we all know that the robot is taking parts. It's not going. Oh, I know how to draw this. It's taking parts of other people's things. And, and jamming them together and acting like, no, I trained the robot to draw. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You trained the robot to steal. Um, but then it's just like, if you do want to go make, you know, weird fake robot art, that's fine. It does look cool. It looks cool. It's wonky, weird, and fun. It makes me want to add extra fingers to the stuff that I draw. But once you've made it, you can just say, hey, I told the machine to do this. Don't steal my prompt. Like, what are you talking about? That's crazy talk. Uh... But then don't just go and say like, hey, I got it from this paint pig. I got my computer to steal from this dumb paint pig who thinks like spending three hours painting something is the way to get something done instead of uh, 45 seconds for this to compile and compute a thing. Oh, my God. Uh, so baby, what if you do had like a real cat over here? Should there be a real cat that you turn to and talk to instead of me over here? Some sort of artificial cat? I mean, what's the war on that? What's the war on that? Tell me about that. Huh, mister? Hey, you should be real. Everything should be real. I just said the opposite of that. It's fine for things to not be real as long as you're not like, this is my real cat. I forced two cats to, to mate and, I, and this cat was made. That's clearly a lie. That's clearly a lie. Wait a second. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Who are you now? I cannot bother. Where did I come from? How do I know that I am real and not just the character on this show? That was... That was surprisingly rhyming. But, uh... 
I met your parents and you showed up with fleas. Um, and exactly like I, I uh, for Captain Bar Army, uh, I, I did make, I don't know if you put it up in a store anywhere, but I grabbed some pictures of him. I put it into whatever the first random Google entry of make some free AI, free AI, free AI, free AI, some free AI art. And, uh, but then I'm still just like, this isn't doing even remotely what I wanted to do. Uh, I do want it to be wonky and weird, but it's like, it's not getting wonky enough. So, uh, so then I combined two AI arts that I both made from his face, two completely different things, and then still Photoshop some of my own stuff on there. Cause I'm like, mm, still going to rub my own stink on things. That's, that's how you know it's yours. That's definitely how I know things are mine. I have specific glands for that, and then they get expressed. And when I express myself, uh, you know, then that I'm ready to, you know, rub up on things. And then you'll be like, "Hey, hey, is this is this my is this my chair? Because it doesn't smell like my chair anymore." And I'll be like, "Yeah, that because it smells like my chair now." And they're like, "Well, this is unacceptable." And I'll say, no, I, "I'm the one who says whether or not things are unacceptable." And then you're just like, you're on thin ice, sir. And I'll be like, well, that's Canada. I don't know who that blue text is. I don't know why it's not showing up on my screen. But somebody's saying, hi, hi, at Mr. Cartoons. Yeah, weird. I can see it on the screen if I feel close. Oh, it's Kujin. Kujin, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with my chat today. All right, refreshing made everything go away, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what that does. Oh man, what was I? What was I flipping out about? Ah oh, yes, being a paint pig. Uh, so my friend who I used to sit right next to, uh, I forget his name on Twitter and on Instagram. But it's, I think it's usually John Lamb art. But you sit next to John Lamb. He's awesome. And he does amazing art. He's spent a lot of time teaching himself how to make uh, um, these amazing, like, functional transformers and stuff in 3D. Plus, he paints things. He's just, he's always making things. And whenever I would see his posts, whenever I see most people's posts, you know, I always just feel like, oh, I don't do enough things. Um, but... I don't, when somebody posts something, go, oh, look who's drawing. Oh, Kujin made another comic strip, did he? I guess he's some sort of comic strip pig. You know, a robot can do it better. Like, why would I do that? If you're, if you're excited to be able to make your own art with a robot, why wouldn't you still be excited for the art that came before it? You know, like, I don't... Uh... But that's what people do. So near, I'm about to say, in my head... You know, I don't see a Batman movie and go like, finally, The Dark Knight. Now, that's a Batman movie. Everything before this, all those comics and everything, that's all garbage. It was a waste of time. Where did it get us? Nowhere. We should have started with this movie. Like, in order to get to the head of that beast, you need to build it with a backbone first. That's not how things are built. But you kind of get my analogy. Oh, God. And pigs are awesome. <laughs> yeah, I also have uh, um, the uh, safe mode on. So if people start posting hate crimes in my chat, uh, it'll catch them. So my chat is also a little bit slower. Uh, I did adjust some of the settings so more stuff could go through. But um, uh, 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 but yeah, for the most part, it's, it's still a little bit slower. Uh, but I am still seeing stuff. Uh, at least in in one of my windows. <laughs> oh man. Um. So paint pigs, just being a paint pig. Oh uh, yes. So of course on the weekend, uh, reading this real quick, where it's just like, oh, you paint pigs. Um, and I'm just like, what? what? I don't even... I already made an AI art comic strip. 
Excuse me. Pat Pro 101. It's been a while. Pat Pro 101. In the Miramichi having professional fun. Raising squirrels and mice from the woods. Doing all the stuff real good. Um, so on the weekend, I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like doing anything. So you know what I did? You know what I did, you guys? Ah, uh, please, for the love of God, tell me what you did. What did you do? Why? Why is this a secret? It's not. You're in the room. You can see what I did from where. You're, if anything, you're practically staring at what I did, and all I have to do is move, and you can see what I did. I choose not to be aware of things until they are told to me directly. That way, I can always plead ignorance to any anything that might, you know, reflect poorly on me uh, or my team. What team? What do you... You're not... Oh, hey, guys. Hey. Uh, it's Liberty's birthday today, eh? And I'm still going with this voice for the new voice, eh? Happy birthday, Liberty. I know you're not hanging around today because it's your birthday and you're, you know, probably drinking 40s because it's your birthday. No, drinking Bacardi because it's your birthday, eh? You're going to party because it's your birthday and we don't give an F because it's your birthday, eh? But am I part of the team? Hey, um, uh, Ted, seems like uh, you don't loop anymore. Why don't you loop anymore? What happened to your animation that you don't loop anymore? I'm over here looping like it's no big deal. If, you don't, if you're going to be on the team, then you're going to have to loop every time we go to you. And if you don't keep your animation looping going, then, then what are we doing over here? What are we doing? What are we thinking? Hey, guys, but as long as you leave and come back after a bit, you know, I'll start again. It's fine, eh? Maybe if while I'm talking here and then I'll go silent, you double click. Double click on my... Uh, this is just your voice. No, it's still set to, to loop. Oh, let's click off this. Let's click off that. Close this. Then technically, I guess, you know, I should probably be uh, looping, eh? And, you know, this is just your voice using your normal accent that you should have. So, you know, you're the weirdo, eh? That's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm the one talking. That doesn't sound anything, anything like me. Talking to me? He's talking to me. Anyway, we were talking about paint for a second. I don't even feel like drawing anything today. <laughs> Why can't I just feel like I can do a hangout, a just chatting stream? They're more popular than art streams. I know that I've seen the charts. I work at the company that does the charts. Corbin makes up some of the visual charts for people to show, and then I look at them. And then I look at them. Uh. Gonna vibe out for a second. Just two seconds of vibing out. You boom! You said you were going to show it. Be the paint pig, you piggy little painter. Show me what you've painted with your piggy hands. Get your little piggy hooves out. You boom! Skill tour's mean. Um, all right. So, um, I I do have a video to go with this. Uh, technically it's not done. There's still a few things to fix and adjust, but, um, my room was a complete wreck for the past two, three days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days. Um, so, uh, so I cleaned everything up and, um, I don't know how well it's going to show up. Uh, the lighting back there is, is darker than it is right here. You look, oh, my hand just disappears into the dark. Uh, but anyway, there's a time-lapse video I still have to edit together. I have to animate some of Skeletor to go with it and whatnot. Um, now you're just talking about the thing. Uh, at this show and tell, you show and then you tell. You don't do a bunch of telling and then not showing. You're literally the worst. You're literally the worst. In literary terms and figuratively, you're even worse. That. I want to say that doesn't make sense, but it, it does. It does. Um, I guess I can't hear the music. So sad and quiet with the without me. I'm gonna music in it anyway. Anyway, uh, this is what I've been doing. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Science, 
fucking big. Oh, Alright, there we go. Fair enough. So, anyway, you get the idea. It's a giant skeleton we're painting. You can really see that anyway. It disappears into the darkness. Um, I don't trust that it's not going to pull. So yeah, I got a bunch of uh, time lapse video of that happening, which I also like. Um, when I was, it was like, ugh, if I'm gonna do something, I need to make a video. If I'm over here being a paint pig, I need to make a video about it to show that I'm actually painting like a little, like a little pig boy. <laughs> uh, it was just, it literally, it was just two days ago that I read, or three days ago, I read the term paint pig. And I was, they, they said a bunch of things. I can't remember all of the terms that, that these AI prompt writers um, used to disparage people who, who make stuff. Um, and that's literally, I spent, like, all of Saturday. Well, one, I was like, mm, there's snow on the car, so you know what that means. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to use the car today. It wasn't even, it's like, it's going to get warm, so the snow, it's all going to drip off later. But I don't want to go to Michael's, even though I've got Michael's gift cards from Christmas and whatnot. Um, I just, I just... Uh, I'm just going to take a walk to the dollar store. So that's like 99% like dollar store paint. Uh, the paint brushes that I use are like dollar store house paint brushes and some other just a bunch of random dollar store brushes. And um, I'm really, you know, it's time lapse. So you can't quite tell how poorly that I actually paint things, I think. It just looks like colors are going on. But I mean, I just, I paint weirdly. I, I, I know I... Definitely shouldn't ever do it like, hmm, here's how to paint, because somewhere in here are some of the things that I've learned from actual painting teachers and books and whatnot, but most of it is just, I want this to happen right here, so I'm going to try to take this color and stab that uh, onto the canvas there, uh, and or scrub it on. Like, sometimes I'm like, I feel like I should just be painting with a rag, because I'm just really trying to just mush it, as opposed to like, ooh, let's go with these brush strokes, or let's, you know, whatever. Um... So, like, e even with, with the comic strip drawing and whatnot, uh, I do often feel crazy in showing people the way that I draw. But, you know, I've seen people draw in ways where I'm like, how, do you, how are you even holding a pen that way? That's crazy. Um, so we all, we all go at things in a, in a different way. Uh, but the point is... The point is... Oh, you totally don't have a point for any of this. You... You're just ra ranting and rambling about things. How could there possibly be a point? There, there is no point. You're just, you're just somehow you're angry at people, but yet not an encouraging of those exact same people. I mean, yeah, and that's the point. And that's the point. No matter what weird way you go about things, you can still be encouraging of other people. Like. I can't think of anything. Um, but, you know, there's, like, the super professional way. Then there's the random don't-know-at-all kind of way. And then there's the, the the many steps in between of, hey, I watched a video on this. And, hey, I learned something. Or I'm just trying this out. Uh, lately, I've been watching a lot of... Um, I'm going to combine their names and forget. Um, mm, what is his name? Something Osman. And he's, like, an engineer uh, uh, YouTuber that, like, just makes random little gadgets or whatever uh, that people suggest it, or just have, of his own ideas. And a lot of times it is, like, yeah, technically I should, you know, form this out of steel or print this in the 3D printer and I should blah, 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 blah. But I'm just going to make this out of cardboard because I'm just going to use it for this one video, see if basically the mechanics of it work. And, uh, um, and then... Then that's it. The video's over. I just made it for this. If it takes more time, 
then it will. If it takes less time, it doesn't. It's just kind of these fun, let's just make stuff for the sake of, of making stuff kind of thing. And then, you know, they have 9 million subscribers. So it's like, that's also a business. Um, William, William Osman, uh, his videos and his roommate, some of his as well, uh, Michael Reeves, who a lot of the stuff he makes is like, hey, uh, whatever. Uh, well, the last video I just watched, it wasn't new, but it was like every time he gets hit in Fortnite, he's got an airsoft rifle that shoots him in, in real life as well. And it's just very, very interesting. He basically tries to put tasers in a lot of things uh, to tase people. You know, like one, he just, he made a cup that if you don't drink fast enough, uh, you'll get tased. So you have a certain amount of time, blah, blah, blah. And it's just very interesting to see their way of, you know, some of them, like I worked at NASA, I worked at, you know, uh, uh, Google or Apple or whatever. Like I developed this thing for the, you know, the Mars Rover and Owen oh, and Mark Rober as well. Like they do stuff with, with him as well. And then, so there's, there's this whole like yeah, conglomerate of, of YouTube scientists. And everything to do is interesting, and most of them are funny and fun because the reason isn't I'm trying to make a perfect robot. I'm trying to make a perfect thing to do a thing. I'm I'm just having fun making stuff, and that's the point. You know, that's, again, I don't know, that's like them, instead of them just making stuff and enjoying it, it's just like spending half of their video going like, oh, and these NASA, these science pigs getting six degrees before they go making something or whatever. It's like, I've got half a degree and uh, a, a laser cutter, so I'm going to make some stuff. It's like, bo both are right. Both are right. But for some reason in the AI world, they take the time to tell you you're stupid for the thing that you do. Well, doesn't that make you even more stupid for trying to do the thing that I do? Just with a row? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird... Bizarre conundrum to roll around in your head. Hey, Miles! Always playing your payday. Every day, playing your payday. You gotta get out of your stress way. That doesn't make any sense, and it's okay, because we're not here to write songs. Um, Let's go back to my flash screen. All right, so... Because I talk too much uh, from panel to panel, I cannot remember uh, what is what. So I think those words will go there. You can't see what I'm doing, and that's how I like it. Um, and then, yeah, then it's Milo again. So we'll just keep basically tracing off the last page, uh, except with different poses. And yes, I'm aware of the uh, uh, irony that is, oh, you're just over here learning like an AI robot, copying from the last thing that you drew uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And yes, that's why I don't think that AI arting is wrong. I just think that you you don't need to be a jerk about it. It's, it's also wrong, though. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Um... I kind of want Milo just to be sipping tea in this panel for no reason. What's like, there's no continuity to it, but who cares? Who cares? Prompt Milo holding cup of tea, looking slightly uninterested. Yes, Michael. I can do that because I am a car that also draws pictures, Michael. Let's take this ride at night, Michael. <laughs> I still mostly just keep drifting back to... I was supposed to say, for the last few weeks I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Which means I've been playing uh, a little bit of Fortnite. Like, I'll play like one... <clears throat> one to maybe three rounds. And I'll be like, that's enough. And as long as I come within... Uh... 
the top four, then I'm like, that's good. That's good. If I get knocked out uh, within like the first, you know, uh, uh, you know, like 85th or like anything higher than like 60 or 70, then I'm just like, well, now I have to play again. That That's insane. That's just insane. But uh, I don't know. I had a few good days where it was just like first round win. All right. Go to play again. And just like second place. Like, okay. Like, I feel like my, my level is going up. Like, I should be getting ranked and playing with people that are uh, a little more difficult than this. But then somebody pops up out of nowhere. They're just like, pop, pop, pop. Like, I'm jumping through the air and I can still pick you off in the face with no problem whatsoever. Suddenly I just, just forget how to draw. I just forget how to draw all of a sudden. Um, okay, yeah, that's what I'm going for. So yeah, I walked to the dollar store to get paints to paint that. Instead of getting fancy Michael's paints, I used the, the cheapest brushes possible. So if if that's the elitism that's holding people back from, from making their own art. And again, to do AI art has got to be more expensive and whatever. You need a bunch of... You need a computer. You need computer power. You need some half-decent internet. And or uh, the people who made that need... Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of gear and servers that are farming throughout the world. That's that's a bigger undertaking than sitting down with some paper or a drawing program and just having fun making some stuff. Like, data pigs. You data pigs are these AI, AI data pig farmers. Yeah. You're just farming. You're just farming from the pigs. We are the paint pigs. Oh my god. And you're just chopping off all our sweet bacon. Oh, my sweet bacon! I was using that sweet bacon. Make my own breakfasts. Yeah, good one. That analogy completely held together. That didn't fall apart at the end at all. Good job. Slow claps all around. Slow claps, everyone. Get the slow clap. Yeah, slow claps all around. Hey guys, uh, I keep forgetting my what my voice sounds like, eh? But uh, you know, if my hands were up, like they just didn't care, I'd I'd clap them in the air. Guys, supportive? Always. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, stories. We got stories. There's always stories. Um. Oh, yes. Ah. Well, one. Uh, in playing Fortnite... <laughs> This is not a this is not a story. This is just a this is weird, but still interesting and fun to me. Um, I threw on Fortnite for like a few days in a row. There, the internet was like, Ugh. imagine if Fortnite didn't crash or freeze all the time. And I'm like, whatever. I don't I don't take it that seriously, so I don't care. Golf clap, golf clap, golf clap. Um, but yeah, there was a there was a two days in a row where I'd go in. And it would play almost normal, but then I'd just be like running around, and all of a sudden it would just everything still worked, but I couldn't jump, uh, I couldn't shoot, um, uh, I couldn't walk or or anything. I could turn and face any direction. I could look around, and I could still build walls. So. That was it. I couldn't switch between any of my guns. If anybody came up on me, I'm dead. I'm dead, but I'm just like, well, just for fun, let's see how long I can survive. Because there's been a few times where I'm like, I'm going to make something to eat. And I'm going to see how long I can I can survive in Fortnite without actually playing Fortnite. So it throws me out of the, the, the I want to say the plane, throws me out of the flying bus. And then sometimes I'm just like, I'm just going to try and land at a house, hide out there for a minute, and just see if anybody runs by. And then... After I finish eating or while I'm eating, try to make my way into the center so I'm not killed by the storm um, without really playing the game where it's like I'm fully eating. I, I can't use the controller other than to kind of move around. But anyway, this became one of those games where it's just like the challenge of how long can I survive 
without being able to do anything in Fortnite. Because uh, occasionally, you'd lose control and it would come back. And another time it just didn't, or I died before. So, I was in the bottom of this house, I was collecting up some gear, and then I just couldn't move anymore. And I was just like, oh, I guess I'm dead. And I can hear somebody coming. So, I built a bunch of walls all around me real quick. And I just stood there. Unable to do anything but turn around. Some other Fortniteer comes into the into the house, into the room where I am. They shoot at the walls, which, I, you know, four or five more shots. Those walls come down, and I'm just exposed. And then they didn't. I could hear them, and I can see them through the walls a little bit, so they should be able to see me a little bit. They're, like, just grabbing stuff uh, from the house that I didn't get, and away they go. And I'm like, what, 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 what? This is crazy. I can't even do anything, and I'm still surviving over here. Uh, but that time, uh, control did not come back. The storm came in and just killed me. But then another time, I'm not sure if it kept happening to this other person. We were just like, I was on a cliff edge, and he was like behind a wall he had made. And we just kind of kept walking around. Or he kept, could keep moving, but I couldn't. But I was at just the right angle where it's like, he's still nervous. I'm going to pick him off. Uh, and I'm just sitting there waiting, wondering, like, huh, I wonder if Control's going to come back. And it did. And then I, I beat this guy and then lost Control again. Somebody else got me. Uh, good times. Good times. That's my dumb Fortnite non-stories. Story story, though, is I get home from after Christmas. Uh, um... <laughs> Oh, what a reference. I don't think I've ever watched that movie. I used to, it used to always be on TV all the time. I'd see the box at uh, the video store when it was the VHS store all the time. But I never, ever, ever watched Men at Work with Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez as garbage men, I believe. I think in my head I combined it with another video case that was Joe Pesci. As like, maybe it was just called the super, but I think he was like the super of an apartment building. And I mashed those together as if they're trying to pick up garbage from his building. Anyway. Um, I get home from Christmas. Uh, I forget when. It might be a day or two. I've, I've been back here. And my brother sends a text. Now... If I get texted a photo or an image or audio file or whatever, I don't see it. Um, I almost never have data turned on on my phone unless I'm out somewhere where I need to have my data turned on. Or if I think somebody is sending me a photo or something. So, unless he adds a piece of text that says like, huh? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. And then I turn my data on and bing, bing, bing. Here are the photos or videos or whatever that he sent. So, I get a little text message that says, This you? Which is terrifying. Which is terrifying. Obviously, there's an image to go with this. I'm going to let it load up. This could be anything. So, you know, within like the, the 14 seconds it takes me to switch over to my settings, turn on data, come back, and and tell it to load that image. I'm just like, what, what could this be? What could this possibly be? Uh, I can't imagine there's something that I've done that could be, you know, maybe I got TikToked. Maybe I got TikToked while I was driving to or from uh, my mom's house. I, I, I don't know. Did I do something weird while I was driving? Did I stop for gas somewhere and, and I looked like an idiot? Uh, 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 uh. So just sheer terror. He sends me a picture uh, of somebody's Facebook post, which is multiple pictures and some text that just says, hey... Like, this piece of garbage just took, you know, my packages from my porch. This horrible porch pirate paint pig. Get him. If anybody knows who this is, let's blow him up. Let's destroy this jerk. This guy's a jerk. It's Christmas time. How dare you? How dare you? And in three of the four pictures that it shows from their, their like, uh, doorbell cam, um... I legitimately have to take the time and inspect them because my immediate reaction is, 
is this me? That is me. That looks an awful lot like me now. Dude's got a hood up, and I think... No, his mouth isn't covered, so his, his, his beard is sticking out. Uh, his big Curtis-like nose is sticking out. And he's got glasses on, but they're black, which I also own. Um, but I'm just like, where, where is this? Like, where is this? Is, is this me? Is this video of me going up to somebody's house and somebody has just used that as a, hey, this person robbed me? Photo? Because it's definitely me, right? It's definitely me. And my mind is just falling apart. So, um... I mean, after a few seconds, I inspected and I'm just like, well, I don't recognize the place. Uh, I don't own that jacket. I don't own camo pants. And I don't have boots like that. So, other than the bit of face that's poking out from his hood and hat and whatnot, I don't own the same hat. None of his clothes are mine. I'm just like, well, I know it's not me. But I'm still kind of like, why does it look so much like me? Um, but then there's one picture that's kind of uh, face on. A little more blurry, but I'm like, well, that's definitely not me. Um, but still... Do I, do I need to worry about this? Like, am I going to get doxxed? Is somebody going to go, oh, that's clearly Curtis. Let's destroy him. Because, um, like I said, I think it looks like me. But I, I don't know where this post is from. Did you just find it from Facebook in general? Or is this local to here, where I am? Is it local to back home? Um, what, what, what level of paranoia and defensiveness should I be at? Um, and, uh, his answer, uh, to me asking, where, where is this? Where is this from? Uh, he just said, uh, you know where it's from, you know, because it's me, obviously. I'm just like, oh, for the love of God, why can't you just give me a straight answer about anything ever? But whatever. I'm like, well, whatever happens, happens. I know it's not me. Uh, but, you know, still just one of those weird things. But because, you know, it looks so much like me and... Uh, You know, it's breaking my brain. I, of course, have to send it to some people. So, um... I happen to be in, like, mid-conversation with my friend Mandy, who is, uh... Not from... I was gonna say he was from back home, but, uh, who lives back home now. Lives back where I'm from. That makes sense. Um... And I'm uh, helping her out with some designs for this new cafe she's going to open. Um... And she is there, so just like, hey, I'll send it to her. And I'm just like, my brother just sent this to me. This is pretty crazy. What? I literally cannot remember how to draw right now. I don't know. I feel like I'm going crazy. Um... So, what she said, what her response was, yeah, Tommy came home with that photo and showed it to me, and I said right away, that's Curtis. That looks exactly, that is so Curtis. Who's Tommy? Who's Tommy? Huh? Who's Tommy? You know who Tommy is? Tommy is my friend Mandy's husband, who is a cop. Who is a police officer of the law? So, I've gone on vacation with, with Tommy before. He seems to like me and whatnot. But, part of me is just like, wait, what? Wait. I mean, he didn't, he didn't, uh, 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 you know. He didn't immediately try to arrest me. I think he's well aware I'm nowhere near the area where it happened. Uh, and I wasn't. Uh, but he he is the cop around that area <laughs> where it happened. So, uh, so I'm just like, oh, all right, cool. But it's like, you guys both know that, you know, that's not me though, right? 
I don't I don't own camel pants. Ugh. Um But anyway, I thought it was a fun, funny, weird little instance of, uh, you know, spending a good chunk of the day uh, being terrified. Because, you know, I, I have another friend who, um, for some strange reason, I, I, he, he believes, he's like, I think I know who did it. Uh, because they do, you know, hate me or whatever, but it's totally one of those, like... Um, like, oh, like my elementary school enemy or bully or whatever it was, just like, would definitely still, at, at full-on grown-up in our 30s uh, age, would still be a jerk that would do this to me. But basically, um, somebody uh, threw uh, a cat or a kitten or something, puppy, don't remember which, I think it was a kitten or cat. He lives right now, um, but still where he goes home to visit his family and whatnot all the time. Uh, so then suddenly, just like the internet is just filled, you know, his internet sphere, his, uh, his community, if you will, uh, of friends and, and well-wishers, um, are suddenly just like, um, yeah, that's, that's totally his car, because somebody posted a picture of his car, and it's just like, what, what? But the, the description of the car was like, that's a completely different car. But that doesn't matter. Nobody's reading the description of the car. They're just looking at the picture that is 100% my car with a big sticker on the back window that might as well say, hey, it's me, remember? Remember I'm the only person in town with that sticker? I'm the guy who loves that thing, whatever it was. So he was, like, terrified to go back home for, like, weeks, uh, basically getting harassed by people that he know. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I thought you were cool. Like, you love cats. Like, I do love cats. I got cats. I'm not throwing cats at windows. I haven't been there in, in months. Uh, it wasn't me. And, you know, again, if you look at the description, I've got a silver car with a sticker, and it describes, like, a blue car or something like that, and it's just like, but people don't care. So in my head for, like, a, that whole day, maybe a day and a half, I'm just like, oh, don't, don't, don't happen. Don't happen. Don't let that happen. But I don't know. I still, every once in a while, when I open my phone, I'll still be like, oh, why is there a picture of me creeping up on somebody's doorstep? But it wasn't me. Shaggy defense. Zombie, <laughs> zombie creeping on your porch. It wasn't me. Stealing all of your packages. It wasn't me. Um. How long have I been talking for? What a while. I haven't drawn much. I still actually have a little bit of work to finish after this. <laughs> it's like almost done. Ugh. I want to say it's been one of those weeks, but it's it's Tuesday. Uh, so it's really just been one of those days where you just, you don't want to wake up, but you don't want to stay asleep. Um, this isn't a story. Nobody wants to hear you talk about your dreams. Nobody wants to, the, the dreams that you have, you know, if you have a dream of doing something, often people want to hear like, oh yeah, inspire me with your machinations of doing stuff. Um, but, but, you know, like I have mentioned before, like, you know, my dreams are usually so real that I wake up and feel like they're just memories of something that happened, and sometimes they genuinely affect me for an entire day. And at, like, five this morning, I woke up and just like, oh, well, I just, I don't know how to process this. It didn't happen. You don't need to process this, but I still need to process this. It's like, but it didn't happen. Yeah, no, it's like, you know, say if you're talking to a cat that isn't there, you don't need to process any of the things that that cat says, because it's not really there. It's fine. It's all just fun and games. It's just, uh, you know, life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently back to sleep. That, yes, that is correct. But, um, long story short, uh, first part of the dream, because, you know, dream logic, um, basically I'm in some kind of apartment building, not this one, but one where, like, the next apartment building is close enough that I can see people in their windows and whatnot, and there's a lower building, just just kind of like, you know, a bunch of buildings jammed together. And, uh, and I'm not quite sure, but basically some lady 
was like climbing out her window onto like the ledge and I could see her and in my eye, in my head I could see in her eyes and I'm like, whoa, this is not for parkouring. She does not intend to survive this particular catwalk uh, out of the window uh, in this apartment building. And I think like whatever I did, like I hung out my window or, or climbed out as far as I could go because maybe I had like a, a, a balcony or I, it led to the next roof or something like that. But basically I remember just like, in some way, shape, or form, just being like, don't, like, don't, don't do this, just don't do this, think of all the people that blah, 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 uh, you know, there's so many things, so many reasons, whatever, and, and I feel like, I remember just being like, a very quick, like, whoa, 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 you don't want to do that, and she was like, oh, you're right, oh, I don't want to do this, like, this is, this is super scary, and upsetting, like, it is, it is, and definitely, like, I don't want to see it happen, like, if anything, don't make me witness this. So just don't do it. I would, I would, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're from. Uh, but uh, Backstreet Boys so, lyrics. Um, just gonna. Hmm. Because actually, this panel of me, I don't want to copy it directly, but it would fit perfectly with um, what this next piece of text is. So. I'm going to do something similar, but different. <laughs> Put my eyes looking up here. Actually, close my eyes. So anyway, dream logic. We cut ahead to... Uh, um, have a good night, Kujin. And a good day tomorrow as well. Uh, so cut to like part two of the dream, if you will, where I am now in a car on my way back home. But I'm on, I don't know, I'm some sort of overpass where I'm like, I'm separate from where the building area is, but I'm still very close. But I'm still going to have to come off an overpass or something to get back down. I look over to my right, and I see that same girl, uh, like, standing out on her on the ledge again. Where I'm like, oh, no! But the car is, like, just, just barely moving past within the traffic, and there's more buildings. And I see, just as plain as day, just that drop down out of frame or I'm like <gasps> like I gotta do something gotta do something what can I do and I don't often have a cell phone in dreams uh, I usually have to get to a landline if it's a phone thing but in my head it was just kind of like I, I have to get over there as fast as possible if I jumped out of my car now there's nothing I can do I'd have to myself drop 30 feet to get to the ground to be able to run over there so I have to wait till I can like drive around uh, um Kujin Alexius Porman. Goodbye. I'll be the Zena do to you and you and you and you and you. So, um, like in the dream, I'm just uh, super upset, and in in real life, I'm definitely just getting more more physically upset as well, uh, to a point that's like going to wake me up. So I'm like trying to rush down and get over there. Uh, assuming that somebody else has already called, like, for an ambulance or something. I, I don't know. I don't really know. Um. Because partly in my head, uh, I'm thinking, um, <gasps> somebody's raiding. Captain Barmy, Wujek, uh, Psychedelic, Dominator 109, and of course, Captain Barmy. Thanks, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> Good times. Um, so, in my head, uh, um, Kayleen? Colleen. Kayleen? Kaline? K I line, eh? Um, so in the dream, I'm just like, actually, she's not really high enough up from where she's dropping from. So, um, Curtis Carey, uh, the, the other me. <laughs> oh, we've had this conversation before. Uh, either somebody has hacked my thing or hopefully you're the, I'm going to say the scientist, Curtis. I forget what you do again. You're some sort of scientist, pharmacist, geologist. Uh, something sciencey. Um. So yeah, in my head, I'm just like, 
even more worried that not that, that this person has taken their life, but I'm worried that they're definitely in a pile of pain over there. They're, they're, they de probably seriously hurt themselves, but they're, they're, they probably survived. And, um... And again, it's a dream, so somewhere within dream logic, by the time I got over to that area, she was already, like, just begrudgingly mm, going back into the main building with some scrapes on her face. I'm like, oh my god, I was like, are you okay? Just like, yeah. I was like, don't be mad that you're okay that you survived that. Like, oh my god. Thank god you're okay. Like, ugh, like I'm calling somebody. Like, you gotta get some help. Something has to happen. And, um, chemist. There we go. <laughs> The other Curtis with his little Curtis kids doing chemistry and not giving no frigs. Um, so anyway, I wake up in the morning, like, I wake up at the first part where I'm like, huh, that person almost did that and I was upset. And then, go back to sleep and then part two of the dream happens and I'm even more upset because then I'm just literally just laying there, like, trying to process, like, what I should have done. And I'm like, dream logic, uh, there's only so much you could have done because none of this was real. And then you could have done everything, because none of this is real. And also, you know, if it comes up in real life, you'll deal with it fine, because then it will be real, and you won't have to, you know, whatever. But uh, again, just that image in my head of just, like, it's it's now, like, just this crystallized memory of watching somebody drop from, you know, three stories up or whatever. And I'm like, ugh, this is why I can't watch parkour videos, because it's just people just jumping, and I'm like, stop it, just stop it. Just stop jumping from things so high up. It's too dangerous and scary. And then my other super non-chill story <laughs> of uh, feeling irritated. Um, I'm pretty sure it was the last stream that I did, which is, you know, several weeks ago now. Um... Definitely have come up with a different pose. So lazy. So lazy. It's about the words. It will eventually be about the words, not about the images. So, a few streams ago, I talked about how the neighbor next door, she just screams. She just always screams everything, and I can't understand why my delightful advice that I yell through my kitchen wall of, just get a divorce, please. Please get a divorce. One of you should move out. Stop doing this to yourselves and me. But whatever. Whatever. Who who, who among us deserves to take a one complete poop without having somebody scream through the bathroom wall uh, at their husband, who is also, I assume, taking a poop on the other side of the wall? Of course, that's what, that's what we're here to do is be screamed at by people, right? I mean, that's why I'm here. I mean, on the other side. I'm here to scream at people? So, you know, if you're, you know... If you're, uh, down and troubled, and you need a little noise, just count on me, and you can call me Royce. So, whatever. Uh, a few weeks ago, they screamed so much that I'm like, do I need to call the police? Like, are they murdering each other this time? Do I care? Do, do does this need to, has to, have to end in bloodshed, and do I have to allow it to happen? Um, because I know it's not going to, and I'm just like, I just want to go to bed, and, you know, again, thankfully, some other, other neighbors came down to yell, and then she screamed at them, like, you know, of course I don't want your help if it sounds like I'm getting murdered, uh, you guys leave me alone, I'm just a crazy old lady who likes to scream all the time, okay, so, um, The other day, shortly after Christmas, somewhere, somewhere between Christmas and, and the new year, when, you know, we're all trying to be better people, maybe, thinking about what have we done? What could we do better about the year that we just lived? Huh. There's a million things that I could, we could all come up with millions of things. And, uh, uh, instead of getting a divorce, uh, I mean, and it was quiet over there for a while, so part of me was like, okay, after that, after that screaming fight, then definitely one of them moved out, right? Like, it's, it's been quiet. 
But then I saw her again, like, oh, she's still here. He, I saw him, he's still here. Like, why? Why are they doing this? It's like 30 years of just hating each other. And, um... It was like middle of the day, middle of the afternoon. Uh, I suddenly hear, bang, 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 bang. Over the door! Bang, 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 bang. Laddie, over the door! Bang, 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 bang. Unlock the door, laddie! Bang, bang, bang. The door's locked, laddie! So... Lady Who Screams had taken her dog out for a uh, whiz and or a poopins. And then when she came back in, you know, five, ten minutes later, uh, the door was locked to her apartment. And she is now banging on the door yelling, I pay my rent! How dare you! Uh, that's my, it's my home too! Blah, blah, blah. And, and I hear the husband through the door just like, No, we, we don't, we, we don't want you here anymore. There's only him in that apartment, so he's speaking for all of us at this point. We don't want you here anymore. You're you're nothing but trouble, he says. And he's mostly speaking, like, calm, just like, you know, we don't want you here anymore. You're nothing but trouble. I'm nothing but... Who do you think? And she's just screaming bloody murder at this. She's like, unlock the door! And I'm like, well, the door is going to eventually get unlocked. She's like, I pay rent. He's like, uh, all of this is in my name. I'm the one who pays rent here. Like, I am up to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what is even happening? And at this point, the super of the building is moving into the building. So it's like, the, the person who kind of has jurisdiction, you know, to this situation is within screaming distance of this. So I'm just going to sit here and wait, see if the door gets unlocked. He's going to unlock the door. I know it. Um, and so she's just banging on the door, yelling, let me in, let me in, little paint pig, let me in. Not by the hair. Of my alcoholic chin. So, and this is just, I don't know, I'm losing my mind. So, uh, uh, um, eventually he does open the door, because I can hear the screams are coming from within inside the apartment now. And he's still just saying, no, like, you should leave. It's time for you to leave. Uh, you're, you're just trouble. You're troublesome, you're trouble... And, and I don't want this anymore. None of us here want this anymore. And I'm like, this is... This is magical and crazy? What is... What is that? Uh, oh, yeah, no. The employees are the ones that do the disturbing now. They're not... The, the one guy moved across the hall for me who's like the cleaner. And he's one of the ones that makes the place filthy. And then the other guy is also... So it's... Doesn't necessarily make it better other than... There's a better chance that if I have a problem, I can call them and they'll be here without waiting for them to come by the building. But uh, they're just as troublesome as everyone else. Um, but she gets into the apartment and her response to, I don't want you here anymore. You make me feel bad. You're nothing but trouble. She starts screaming. Now this you know, if we're going to treat it like a court of law, if if I am on the other side of the wall and I am the judge and the jury who is who is uh, uh, witnessing this testimony, her her argument for the case that is, I want to live in this apartment with you for the rest of my life, right? That's basically what what her argument is. I don't want to leave. So her way of expressing that is, of course, to scream, Oh, I'm a problem? You tell me. You tell me. One. You come up with one problem. One way that I'm a problem around here. That I cause trouble. What way am I trouble? She's screaming this at his face. Uh, it sounds like. And he says something quietly. I assume it's just probably. I assume he said this what's happening right now. All this screaming for no reason? You're always just screaming at me? You screamed at me before you left? You scream at me when you come back in? I don't want to do this anymore. Again, I'm... Pure conjecture. Pure speculation. Not admissible in court. His, his side of that story. Her rebuttal, her reply to him saying whatever he said, very short, very short little bit of information, was... You! 
You're the F up. You're garbage. You're trouble. You're stupid. You're the one who's useless. You, I wish that you, I hope that you kill yourself. I wish that you would die. It sounds to me, to my non-judicial uh, ears, that you, you should just go then. He doesn't want you there. You're not, you can get out without having to do paperwork, it sounds like. Just go. Every few weeks you go and live with your daughter for, your t for a few days until I assume she kicks you out because you scream at everything. Um, I'm afraid to pass her in the hallway or outside when she's walking to her dog, walking her dog, because sometimes it's like, mm, hello, nice day, like, mm, it is a nice day, have a good one. And other days she's like, I hate everybody. I assume you're including me in that? Because near as I can tell, uh, you can't hear me yelling at you over how uh, much you yell at me. Um, oh, yes, if she did move. Uh, it probably would be unaffordable uh, in this um, current climate of trying to rent things to be able to afford uh, a new place to live. But my main takeaway was the fact that it's just like, again, your argument for I want to stay here is because I hate you and you're such a piece of garbage. Am I still covered with paint? I just saw some... Uh, no, just a shadow. Um... Uh, you're such a useless piece of garbage that how dare you think that you can live without me? I'm just like, whenever you're not here, it's just quiet. But then it was quiet. It was quiet for like nearly a solid week. And uh, I had just told CTK in the chat uh, in real life uh, that story, that this is what I had listened to a few days ago. And she's like, oh, um... You know, whatever, like, well, it's pretty quiet now. And I'm like, it is pretty quiet now. Maybe she did leave. Maybe this is over. Maybe this is over. And um, I forget if I was just walking her home or we went over to the grocery store or something. I don't remember. But we left the building. And as we started walking, there was a shadowy figure with their dog in the yard. And I'm just like, well, that can't be her. It has to be one of the other people uh, from the building. I can't quite see the dog. It's shadowy. They're shadowy. This could be anybody, even though she's the right height and it's the right dog. And then, uh, I don't know, about 15 feet after the dog or after we pass them, I look to CTK and I'm like, hey, quick update to that story from earlier. That's her. That's that's the lady that, that I kind of thought was gone now. She's apparently still here. So they've been relatively quiet for the, but that's what they do. They'll scream to the point where it's like, well, this is over. And then, um, then it gets quiet for a little while. And then it starts again. Yeah, that works for that. How many fingers do I normally have? Let's stick with three. I know that it changes. Uh, but anyway, that's, you know, this week's update on my streaming neighbors. <laughs> but for the most part, like I said, most most of the people in this building are really nice, relatively quiet. Uh, it does suck that, you know, there's a bunch of kids that live upstairs now. And they only run up and down the stairs and or jump on every stair all the way up and all the way down. And um, I feel like they all have headache radar where they're like, ooh. I think somebody who lives on the other side of these stairs might have a headache. I better jump up and down uh, uh, those stairs as loudly as possible. All right, I'm not sure. I'm gonna change this last panel. Full panel across the bottom. And then, hmm. I want to do a wider shot. But I don't just, ugh, I don't want to draw everything.
so lazy. Threw this on the wrong layer. I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. Fine. What time is this? Now we're just grooving, grooving time. Oh, actually, yeah, the YouTube chats show up in my chat window, but they don't show up in, uh, they were though, weren't they? They don't show up on screen though. I can't scroll back on those ones. That's weird. Eh, it'll fix itself eventually. And by fix itself, I mean, Somewhere, Carl is probably working on this. Carl's awesome. Oh, man. Um, what was I doing? Alright. Just want a wider shot so I can fit a pile of bubbles so all the rest of the dialogue will all fit on this one panel. And, um... Whose name is Nope? Is that is that a YouTube robot? Did the YouTube robot know that I said that? Or are you Wrench Nope uh, on YouTube, Captain by Army? <laughs> it's Carl with a K! Carl with a K. I assume other people are having problems with it as well, not just me. But I figure as long as I... Oh, of course it's Pat. <laughs> Pat's chillin' like he's Leslie Nope. Chillin' like he's not a dope. He knows all the things to do. Lost my train of thought. Cause he's the moderator. Don't call him Scott. <laughs> Now, there's definitely been a few times I've tested it myself, but yeah, like I can see, like CTK wrote like just a hundred little messages, or well, like fifteen messages in the last few minutes. I'm like, oh, none, none of those are popping up over here, just uh, just the Twitch messages. But I'm pretty sure some of them were there earlier. But in my head, I'm like, well, there must be it's like there's nothing I could do. It's definitely not a, a switch that I flicked on or off. That shouldn't be. It shouldn't be an option. To uh, exclude, I mean, it's probably an option, but I'm pretty sure it's not. You know what? Fine. What if I do it on the actual screen? Um, control click? Nope. Ah, I'm moving things. I moved it too much. All right, there we go. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. The the I feel like the the Twitch is always usually a little bit slower video wise than YouTube, and uh, but the 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 messages are always faster from Twitch. And I don't know. It's all nuts. I think that uh, for a while Facebook was the fastest one, and then I just stopped sharing to Facebook because I don't know. I was having some sort of angry vendetta against Facebook one day, and. Um, Filters won't do it. How do I... Properties. Go badges. Enable all the stuff. Theme. Source. Use custom frame control. Audio by the blah blah blah. Refresh the thing when the thing is whatever. Chatter. Hide common chat bots. I don't even know what that stuff means. Uh, okay, near as I can tell, there's no settings. There's no settings that I can do, therefore it's not me. It's you. Uh, 
Oh, Milo. Why do you look so terrible in this in this frame? That was definitely your fault. There's no, it has nothing to do with Carl at all. Whatever's wrong with this frame of, of drawing, that is 100% odd you, my dog. 100% odd you. <clears throat> See, now, I don't understand anything. <laughs> I'm out of my mind. Um, Captain by Army's messages are popping up on screen, but they are not popping up in my other chat thing. Oh, no, there they are. Wait, no, those are YouTubes. Those are YouTubes. Facebook, disgusting. It's working. Those are YouTubes. But those showed up on the on screen before I could see them on the other screen, which again, like just, just things like that where I'm like, I still don't understand. Like, I mean, I'm sure somebody could explain it to me, but, or somebody has, I think maybe Pat pro one one did describe it to me, but I can't for the life of me figure out how I can play a Fortnite style game where, um, uh, uh um, all I needed was a captain. Sometimes you just need a captain to pilot that ship and then everything starts working. Uh, so all it takes. All it takes. You just need you just need a good captain. You need a good bee. You need a good army. And, and stuff just starts working. Stuff just starts working. And, uh, ooh, somehow CTK is swearing. That, that worked. I feel like that shouldn't have been, shouldn't have popped up. Um, but I don't think that's uh, too much of a swear anyway. But usually the robot doesn't allow that. Oh, I lost my train of thought completely. Uh, drawing Milo, bad. Drawing Milo, good. Doing things as I often should. YouTube is working and everything is cool. Messages making me feel like a fool. I can't think of where I dropped Pat. Pat was the thing. Pat told me. Yes, that's what it was. I can't understand uh, internet timing. Um, how on Fortnite or games like that where... I'm running around, somebody else is running around, I shoot that person or they shoot me, and even though there's, you know, lags all over the internet, somehow, like sometimes there's weird jumps and weird buffering things that happen, but the fact that, um, as near as I can tell, um, that person, when I shoot them, they get shot and they are, you know, wherever they are, you know, it's, it can't be more than milliseconds of uh, uh, um, uh, uh, of difference. Like, but I, I just don't understand. Other than there must be robots. Like, it has to be AI. That's just like this is probably where you're gonna get shot. So we're gonna calculate that data, and it's it's more of a a, a prediction system. Or both of our inputs get kind of uh, put into. Uh, you know, this, this sphere of time where stuff is happening and then it, re ha you know, it happens so that we're both technically re realigned time-wise and then it sends back what we would have seen, but it's real time though. So the internet somehow has the ability or Fortnite has the ability to, yep, this is what happened. We went and then we'll send it back through time and then you'll see it in real time. I don't understand. Like... How how the internet can be fast enough? To do that? I just just don't understand. Uh, those are song lyrics, right? No, those are Will Smith. Parents just don't understand. I understand, but I don't know how a duck knows what direction south is. Hmm. Or how to tell his wife from all the other ducks. Hmm. Uh, I can grind my teeth all night while I sleep and wake up when I cough. Huh. Yeah, song lyrics. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Ripley. Exactly. All my organs doing their jobs. No help from me. Hmm. You can pull a spider's legs off. 
and it will keep on moving twitching i haven't listened to that song in a long time uh, what other words how does a duck know what direction south is and how to tell his wife oh yeah that's the voice that goes with from all the other ducks oh uh. You can put me in an iron lung, and I will keep on breathing, twitching. Is Milo upset? Oh yes, he is still upset in this frame. Why are you smiling? And, speaking of Captain Barmy, I don't really comment on stuff on Twitter that much. Pretty much just to my friend Ben. I feel weird about jumping into conversations with people I don't really know. And or just like, hey, also I'm saying things over here. I used to do that when I first started on Facebook where it's like, oh, you didn't think I was here, but I am. Surprise. And it made me feel like a jerk a lot of the time. Um... <clears throat> So I find it weird, you know, it's, uh, oops, oh, save was good, um, to just kind of jump in with my opinion on things all the time, or it's like, here's my little, little tagline or my joke, um, because ultimately a lot of the times, if it's especially if like, oh, some weird celebrity or some artist or whatever, where it's like, there's like a hundred, uh, replies here, and, um, all of the, the conversation below the main post it's just other people having a conversation. So it's like, I don't want to end up having a fight uh, uh, with Jeff Jeff 57 over here. I actually wanted my comment to be to this other person. And now, now it's this weird conversation with 50 people. So I'm just like, I'm nervous about getting stuck in conversations that I, that I can't handle, basically. Um, but, uh, but I have started following a few people back, like Captain Ba Army and uh, Yasmira and uh, 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 Rena the Mayor, um, and seeing the stuff that they're up to, uh, and, I don't know, the other day, yesterday, whenever it was, Captain Barmy's all like, hey, like, my hair's super long now. Like, yeah, your lustrous, beautiful hair that we've talked about on the stream before. I accidentally watched, a, 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 like, a seven-minute video of you brushing your hair because I thought, like, something weird's going to happen in this video. This is going to build to something. Look at the text. Nope, this is just seven minutes of him brushing his hair just for the sake of it. And uh, I love, love that kind of, tr you know, trolley, whatever, where it's like, this is, this is what I made today. I didn't, uh, um, uh, ask a robot to do it for me. I sat here and I brushed my hair for you. And then, uh, yeah, I see another post where it's just like, hey, my hair's long enough now, like, now I can donate it to this other thing. But maybe it's long enough or I should grow it out so I can donate more to this other thing. Just like... Donate some of your own time to yourself. <laughs> oh, too, too giving. Too giving. And, uh, and again, mostly, mostly it just is not like, um, uh, how, how dare you be so nice? It's, oh, uh, I guess, you know, to go back to the beginning before you guys were here. Uh, of talking about, you know, how, how these AI prompters are like, oh, you little paint pigs, like, you don't get it. Um, we are the best now. You guys should just stop. You know, stop trying. We, you know, we perfected it with robots. Uh, um. Uh. Trying not to have that same reaction where it's just like, oh, oh, you're out here being good and giving stuff to people? You're giving to the world all the time? Here's a list of all the great things you did. Like, well, la ti da I guess I'm garbage then, am I? And it's just like, that's not what you're doing at all. If anything, inspiring other people uh, to do nice things and uh, uh, um, exactly like stuff like that, like that's amazing. Like you know, like my project for the weekend was painting a big giant picture of Skeletor uh, that I'm probably just gonna put up in my kitchen. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a price tag on it and sell it, and then I will keep that money. <laughs> Uh, but I give stuff away. I made something for specifically you to sell and that I want you to raise money for yourself. 
you, whatever money you make on it, if you do sell that des that dumb AI design that's being mean to AI, then uh, I'm sure you'll still give it to other people, and that's that's still great. That's still great. Um, there's nothing wrong with being a good person. It's it's the best thing to do, um, and especially if you're if you're a Captain Barmy, where you also get to have fun being kind of a uh, a jerk about stuff. Where it's like, yeah, I'm doing a bunch of nice things, and then I'm gonna, you know, yell and and uh, play weird, scary video games or whatever, and make fun of people or things. I don't know. I don't watch enough of uh, your videos or streams. Uh, I forget what the last one I watched, but you were like, I'm gonna play around with some editing, and then you posted something. I was like, this is hilarious, and or just edited super like the timing on it was real nice. Um, but uh. uh Lost my train of thought again. Thinking about my Irish friends. The beats have taken control and I'm not on a rhyming roll. Not singing along with the music, that's for sure. But, uh, Vader Zim's friend is called Gur. Um, something about making... Oh, that's what I was segueing into. But one of the nice things that I do, I get paid to give things away sometimes. So, Eric, Eric, Eric at work was like, so for the new year, for this new year, um, and no, it totally doesn't drive me nuts when people say New Year's, doesn't make me crazy at all, at all, it just doesn't, doesn't at all seep into my brain and just be like, it's only one new year, it's only one new year, I don't flip out inside my brain at all when somebody says New Year's, I just don't, I promise, I just don't. Yeah, I think that you do. You protest too much. Ah, that's what I doth think of you and your mm, lies. You clearly cannot stand the S on New Year's because it is a New Year's. It's the newest of years. And Happy New Year's to you all. All of the years of newness, you boobs. Mm. And again, I don't, th I don't actually think it's wrong when somebody says New Year's. I'm just like, yeah, that still does apply. There's been two, two thousand of them, maybe more, maybe more. <laughs> uh, anyway, Eric was like, hey, so I'm gonna do more live streams and more TikToks and more posts on like how to stream and everything uh, every week. And uh, do you want to? Will you do? Can you do? I need a haircut. Um, a weekly stream, not just randomly whenever we feel like having a giveaway, just every week uh, from, I don't maybe starting this Friday or next Friday, probably this Friday. Um, uh, I'm going to start doing uh, a weekly Streamlab stream where I assume it's the same thing. I'll just do giveaway art or whatever. I, I don't know, but uh, it'll be, it'll be fun. It will be fun. Um, and then, of course, still trying to do this weekly so that someday I'll have enough pages to make another Me and Milo comic strip. Still mildly irritated with... I've been doing the same work for, for a streamer, uh, you know, off and on, whenever they want some new stuff. But it's just kind of frustrating because they're popular. Like, their numbers are in, like, the millions or at least hundreds of thousands. Um, and... Um, and what do they do? What do they do? It's probably just thub, thub girl play video games, right? Just thub girl have a thub play video game. There's nothing, nothing related to this that you're like, oh, that that makes me feel jealous all the time. I'm still talking and your button's not working. Hey, yeah, no. Um, and I've mentioned this before. Her instructions are like, hey, can you draw another picture of me and my cat Milo? <clears throat> of course I can. Of course I can. It will be my pleasure. It's a completely different cat named Milo. But the fact that you're just like, we don't do the same thing. She's not drawing stuff. She's worlds, worlds away from, from similar things. But they're still just like, but that's my thing that I do. I only have a few things. I only have a few things that I do. And one of them is hanging out with my, I was going to say previously dead, brought back to life through drawings and animation cat Milo. But he was a cartoon before he died. Anyway, but yeah, so, um, as the music ends, um, 
<laughs> Look at that same song, the one that was just playing. Editing is all just about creating a flow. As long as you can feel a good flow when you watch back, then you can know uh, you did a good job. Especially uh, now that uh, most editing is about not creating flow, uh, having jump cuts and making things uh, be abrupt and in your face. Uh, so, I don't know. Editing, editing is very much like uh, an open world now. Just, just like AI art. Anybody can do it. And it's it's almost difficult to do a terrible, um, as long as as long as you have a good eye for things, you you, you know you're aesthetically um, aware, you understand things that are fly and cool and hip. It'd be like the opposite of all those words you just used. I sure do. I sure do. I sure do. Oh man! All right, real quick, I'm just gonna draw myself here. Probably be a little bit taller, even though I'm not a baller. Um, so anyway, that's my other news. Two live streams every week, which means this live stream will probably happen less. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Uh, like, she seems awesome. Like, I watched a few of her videos. Uh, the the frustrating part is the thing that frustrates me about everything. Um, it's, I'm, I'm old, and she's like 17 <laughs> or 16. And, uh, and just the fact that it's just like, um, but hey, yeah, um, do the thing that you do for me, except I'm cool. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. You're cool. Why wouldn't you be cool? Uh, but mostly just like, but I already have a cat named Milo, and I don't have time to animate him doing anything, but now I'm animating you doing stuff with your cat Milo, which is legitimately what I'm going to do as soon as the stream ends, <laughs> is uh, finish animating her cat just being adorable. Um, but like when I do it, I feel good about it. <laughs> like she seems like a super nice person who deserves things. And, uh, and it is, it's just that weird thing, like, anywhere I go, any, anything I see, um, there's still that automatic, you know, your lizard competitive brain that's just like, you know, or just somebody in your head that's just like, why aren't you the best? Why don't you have, uh, a, a, a YouTube glass trophy behind you that says, like, you're great at YouTube? Uh, it's just like, uh, I, I don't, why, why don't I? Who, who keeps saying these things? It's probably me. I'm always saying things, undermining everything. It's the way to keep He-Mans and other, you know, dorks like you under the thumb, knowing that you are undeserving of people's love. Just don't forget. Always, always, you're the worst, and I'm the best. But exactly. Um... Uh, that's what I, like, I always say that to other people, but it's one of those things where I find it hard to allow it to seep into my own brain, where, where people are just like, like, I made a YouTube video and it didn't go viral, so I guess I'm garbage. Like, no, make a hundred more. Did you like doing it? Like, then, then keep doing it again. Um, you know, I, I, I still play Fortnite. I'm not trying to be, what is going on with the back? No matter what I do, that's just gonna keep popping up. Um, and it's, it's all about just doing the things, now I'm just going to read what you just wrote. Uh, it can be like that from time to time, you just need to remember, uh, why I do the things I do, and just like spreading laughs and meeting folks, and that's, that's exactly what all of this stuff is. Um... It's just that weird, the, again, it's just a juxtaposition in your head of just like, oh, you guys are like... You know, climbing all over yourselves. Like, we gotta have business meetings. We gotta get this person on the line. Because, like, 
they're an imaginary character with, you know, or, or whatever, like, they're a, a, a VTuber, like, who's popular, like, we gotta get them, you know, if we get them on our channel for a minute, like, that would be awesome, it's just like, you guys are literally describing what I do, but, because I'm nobody, uh, it's not like, oh, but we already have that person right here, he's, he's right there, um, so instead, I, I should just be extremely proud that I do work at a place where they're like, yeah, like, do go on the stream. Like that's that's fun. We we enjoy when you do it. People enjoy when you do it. And um and don't don't hate yourself for doing the things that you like to do. Like that's you know, 99% of the advice I give to everybody is always uh, um is just yeah, like well what what do you want to do? What do you feel like doing? And remember that whatever that is, you don't have to lock yourself into doing that thing for the rest of your life. You can try stuff out as a hobby. If it becomes a business, then it is. You, but you don't have to turn everything into a business or into a whatever. It's we just we just live on a ball of people, and we can we can just share with them. Like that's it. Um, Like, I think there's there's basically two kinds of people in the world. Oh, you're one of those guys now? You're one of those, there's two kinds of people in the world? Here's here's what I think. There's two kinds of people in the world. There's people that say there's two kinds of people in the world, that there's everyone else who doesn't listen to the people who say that, because there's more than two kinds of people in the world. Excuse me, and you're welcome. I also agree with that. But uh, I feel like there's people that are just like, they exist... To, to exist and share? What are you doing? I'm I'm doing this and I'll tell you about it or I'll show it to you. You want to know how I paint things? This is how I paint things, but there's better ways to do it and learn how to and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then there are, there's the other people that are the ones that are just, why don't I, why don't I have as much stuff as everyone else? Why am I, you know, why isn't everybody sharing with me? Everyone's out here, like, sharing with, like, shouldn't I be the main share target over here? And it's just, like, that's that's not how anything works. There's there's a bajillion people out there, and, and we're all just, just, again, just doing stuff without trying to murder or stab each other. Like, that's, that's it. Try to enjoy your jam. Without, uh, whatever, without forcing it on someone else's toast. But yeah, I think it also just kind of comes down to, like, things like, you know, again, I, I love my little microcosm, because uh, I, I don't have to deal with the, like, fame stress that I assume everyone has to deal with, um, that is like, you know, I make a stream, or I make a dumb little video, or, or a painting, and, um... There's a lot of people out there on that other side of that fence that are just like, why are you even sharing this? Why did you bother? Again, a robot could do that better, you stupid paint pig. Why don't you just use AI, you little piggy pig? Like, ugh, I'm just doing what I can with my little pig who's over here. Sorry, I like to wallow in my own filthy <laughs> pen of paint. And, and the stuff that happens is what I enjoy. And then there's just so many of those people that, again, like growing up, uh, around those people in, in high school and elementary school. Um, it wasn't until I went to college for animation where people were like, oh, you're drawing something cool. Wait, what? You're not going to make me feel like a horrible person for doing something different than sports? Like, oh, you're going to draw that instead of climbing under a car all day and, and trying to fix it or build your own car? Like, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to make fun of you for that. Like, what? I'm not going to threaten to beat you up at all. Like, what? Well, this is great. Whereas, you know, <laughs> high school world uh, really teaches you to hate everything about yourself. Like that's that's just what it's there for. <laughs> you try your best to sneak in some learning, while uh, a bunch of people have been taught by their parents. All these people are against you. If it's too hard, then you gotta take down everybody else. Make sure that you make fun of them before they make fun of you. Like, no, no, no. You're supposed to make fun of yourself before somebody makes fun of you. Then you're all aware of your of your own world, and then um, 
<laughs> Only because the last few... Uh, I, I started the stream by talking about um, how uh, just on Twitter, uh, I just recently uh, followed a, a friend I used to work with. And uh, he's just kind of in this little battle, and a few people are just in, in battles against a AI artists that are just just making fun of them, being mean to them. And just that new term, paint pig, came up the other day, and and that's why I painted a big giant uh, Skeletor painting. That um, I don't know if I can see behind me there. Grr. So I spent the weekend doing that. Um, so again, like, I, I do, I, I know that I do need a certain level of hatred in my life from either myself or the outside world just so that I can spite it. Uh, I'm very much fueled by, by a certain level of spite, but my spite is usually based on out-politing someone, like, oh, why would you bother? Like, oh, I'll show you, I will bother times ten. Um, I'm going to put my hands in my pockets for this pose. Build back a bit. Boop. But yes, this week I am angry at robots. <laughs> Whilst watching a lot of YouTubers make robots that do that do do stuff, so it's again. I don't think robots are bad. I think you know, it's how people wield them. It's it's you know it's exactly the same as religion. Religion gives lots of people peace of mind and community and whatever. It's uh you know it's the original it's the original live streaming event. Um, but other people use it as an excuse to to be hateful again. Like, well, this is my stream, and you're garbage because my stream has more numbers than your stream, or my YouTube is whatever. It's like, don't be like that. You know the those those Twitter Twitter posts that are like, oh yeah, what well, I, I forget who who this post was. Maybe it was uh, linked to one of your likes, but um. Somebody, like, made some kind of point, and uh, somebody, possibly a politician, I don't know, was like, hmm, why don't you just share that opinion with your 15 followers? And it's like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't feel bad about my 15 followers. I like my 15 followers. We're friends. And now while you attack me with your hundreds of thousands or millions of followers, now suddenly I have more followers uh, through hate or whatever. And I'm still not using my platform of 15 followers to be mean. I was just, you know, joining in this discussion or whatever because Twitter is just a big discussion hall. And people very much think that, um, again, I mean, even Elon himself posted like, oh, like if you really want to be heard, you're going to want to pay for your blue check. You're going to want to whatever. There's, you know, there's there's a hierarchy here. And it's like, no, there isn't. There actually isn't. Everybody gets to say in a, in a world where everybody gets to talk. And then, you know, we can we can discern from there and, and, and pare down uh, the goods, the bads, uh, the facts of life, the facts of life, the world. Don't ever seem to be living up to your dreams, but uh, I don't remember the rest of the words to that song, but you'll find it's all about you. It's all about you. Mrs. Garrett, R.I.P. Anyway, uh, that's our that's our rough sketching of uh, page two of uh, this this comic stripping. Um, there's definitely there's a handful in here that I don't have text in here for. I'm going to have to come up with new text or dig through my notes to find out what I was going to say. Uh, but again, that's one of those things I, I talk about every week is, hey, one well, of these days I'm going to just sit down for the weekend and work on comics and then put it together in a book and it'll, it we'll have another comic stripping book. And then instead, I end up 
making stuff for Skeletor or doing a painting or rewiring uh, uh, the office so that uh, the lights are in the right place uh, and whatnot. Um, and, uh, and again, just trying not to, not to feel bad about doing random stuff. That's completely okay. I don't need to. Nobody needs to have side projects outside of their job. Um, but I feel like uh, that is that is what completes your life. That, again, they don't have to be project projects, but, you know, doing something besides your job really, really rounds everybody out. Uh, finding the easiest, fastest way to do things. Again, I do stuff the cheapest, quickest way that I can. But sidestepping all of the, you know, Ian Malcolm. Ian Malcolm. Uh, yes, we could stand on the shoulders of giants and press a button and suddenly get our free dinosaur, but wouldn't it be uh, interesting to you for your own internal growth to have built your own dinosaur? Uh, and the irony there is that uh, instead of building your own dinosaur, you spent $90 on a dinosaur that is on your shelf that you've animated uh, once and a half times. But no, that's cool. That's totally fine. You can just, you know, do whatever. Uh, waste, waste money on a dinosaur somebody else built, not build your own, and then also not do a thousand animations with it. He's always right. I mean, that's why I hate him. That's why I hate you is because, yes, there's your subconscious mind and then there's your whatever the opposite of subconscious mind is, uh, your frontal brain, mm, whatever. And they're always they're always fighting. They're always at odds. I want to lay down and take a nap. Ah, I want to do something creative. Ugh, why can't we agree? We're literally in the same head. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But <clears throat> this has been another week of streaming. Probably see you guys on the Streamlab stream on Friday. Uh, we're all giveaway uh, artwork, or I'm trying to make uh, stuff specifically uh, that people request and have Eric sent it, to, sent it to them. Have Eric send it to them so that I don't have to uh, get pulled into other people's lives um, and have uh, um, DM connections with people. <laughs> Oh man. Um I think that's it. I think that's all the announcements and the stories and nonsense of the day of the week. I definitely had like a thousand other just uh Christmas rants in, in my head. Uh but, you know, some time has passed and I let them dissipate. Um, sometimes writing the things down to talk about later is just like, oh yeah, it was just a fun little thing. Nothing to be upset about and or just forgetting about things is, a, is another way to not let stuff build up and bother you all of the time. Um, but mostly, um, you know, figure out things that you, figure out things that you enjoy and enjoy those things. And even more so, Enjoy figuring out those things. I didn't just wake up in one day and just be an animator. Uh, I've spent thousands of years doing it. And streaming is... I've been doing this, you know, off and on for... I don't know, like five or six years now. It's only within the last, like, three years I've been doing it semi-consistently. Um, YouTube videos I've been making forever. Like, there's there's no reason to stop doing things. And there's no reason to keep doing things... If, if you do feel like they're hurting you, pulling you down, whatever. Anyway, uh, always just giving advice to myself and uh, pushing it out through the screen uh, into other people's heads. And hopefully it, uh, you know, again, I was just trying to encourage people to just, just do it. Just do it. There's a lot of very unskilled people doing amazing things out there that they haven't trained for. And now that's their thing. And people that have trained for things for years that are just like, well, now I'm going to do something else. And they're both still happy. It's all like, yeah. Finding happy places, Peter. Find your happy place and uh, fly. If I could remember any other lines from Hook, I would say those. But anyway, thanks guys uh, for hanging out once again and um, helping me encourage myself and encouraging me 
to, to just keep making things. That's really that's really why I do this. But I'm just like I absolutely don't want to make anything. Um, I'll, I'll make myself feel beholden to the people of the internet who want to see some things be created and or uh, hear some nonsense stories and and fighting with imaginary characters. Characters? Emails. Characters? Emails. What does this one look like? Ah, this far away camera, and then cut in close. Yes, here I am, closer. Mid shot? Hmm, basically the same as the wide shot, but just from a different angle. But what if I don't want to say anything? Yeah, that's how I chill, and here's how it looks in terms of a behind the scenes. Good night, everybody. Good night. And to all a good uh, New Year's! Oh, S. Um. Alright. Everybody, uh, for the next few days, it's up to you to make your own nonsense and things. Have a good night, uh, go to sleep, or stay up all night. I don't know. Captain Burma, you're usually going to bed by now. You should be asleep. Oh, for the love of fun. And, uh, always, always hom hom sorry and, uh, oh, uh, senior card gauging, <laughs> senior card gauging, Miles. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop saying goodbye, and I'll visa Zane, and adieu to year and year, and year and year and year. Have a good night, have a good week, uh, have a great stream, if that's what you do, uh, or, or whatever. Do a doodle. Do a doodle. Throw it in the garbage. Forget about it forever. It's fine. I do it. I, I threw away like six doodles <laughs> earlier. 120. Oh, it's nine, almost 920 here. And I'm like ready to go to bed in four minutes. But oh yeah, that work I need to finish. Okay, seriously, Ripley, sweetest angel. That's why you're the sweetest angel. Uh, let's wrap it up and uh, hit those sweet, sweet outro credits. Beat drops. That's my favorite part. Uh oh. And the stream to first. Don't want to do it while you're live, cause what if you poop in your pants? <laughs> uh, I'm not really farting. It's just it just rhymed. But there was a stream where I farted at the end. 